Welcome to the channel everybody. Thank you very much for clicking on today's video. In this video, we're gonna be putting together the very best travel vlogging camera. Let's run that intro. Now a travel vlogging camera needs to be very versatile. You could be hiking through the Alps, traveling across America on Route 66, or backpacking through the Outback. So it's got to be very versatile and rugged. So the first thing we're gonna do before anything is make a list of what we need. Let's do that right now. So probably the most important thing, we need good quality 4K video. It's also gonna to have to be stabilized. It needs to be lightweight and compact. Robust and water resistant. As well as good quality video, we need good quality audio. So we're gonna need a built-in microphone and it's also gonna to have to have some way of standing up on its own. So we're gonna need a tripod also. Battery life, low light performance, and ease of use are extremely important. And now probably the most important thing, it's got to represent good value for money. Okay, so we've got quite a demanding list there of all the things we require from a travel vlogging camera. I'm gonna go away now, do all my research, and we'll be back here shortly. So it's been two months now since I made the introduction to this video. In that time, I've been ordering products, ordering cameras, microphones, tripods, testing loads out, sending loads back. I've ended up with a travel vlogging setup that I think is the best you can get at the minute. It ticks so many boxes on our list. Now, before I reveal what it is, what I want you to do is quickly pause the video, comment below what you would go with and why. But in three, two, one, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is right now so here it is i call it the ed 209 built around the dji osmo action and rode wireless go microphone oh boy is it light coming in at 260 grams to put that into perspective a can of coke weighs in at 368 grams it's also compact measuring only 20 centimeters high and 10 centimeters wide even with its little tripod it's easy able to fit into a pocket or a bag. It's sturdy thanks to the Gorilla Pod Action Tripod and can be set up anywhere. I have shortened the legs of the Gorilla Pod because as we all know, length isn't everything. It's robust with the additional protection offered from the PGY Tech case. The Rode Wireless Go Mic is simply a great microphone. It's more expensive than a traditional shotgun mic, and I'll be discussing this more later. The battery life is approximately one and a half hours per battery, and only 19 UK pounds for additional batteries. It's so easy to use, it's remarkable. One button to start recording, one button to stop. And you can even set up voice activation to start recording. Putting the whole setup together takes less than two minutes. Now I know some of you will be saying that an action cam isn't best in low light. And yes, this camera does need light. So in addition to the mic, we also have a second mounting point to the left of the cage, which is where we can mount the Yulanzi cube light. Great for them low light night vlogs. So how much does this all cost? Let's add it all up. And now the most important part, how well does it perform? So this is the quality you can expect from the Osmo Action and the audio from the Rode Wireless Go system. We're currently recording at 4K 25 frames per second and this is straight out of camera, no editing at all. The great thing about this system is it's so simple to operate. It takes about five seconds to turn it on. There's one button on top to start recording. You press it once, press it again, it stops recording. No flapping about at all. How many times in the past have you purchased a piece of equipment and it hasn't fulfilled what you need of it? 
So then you buy an additional pieces of equipment to make up for it. Well, that just doesn't happen with this setup. It's so simple and it just works. And that's what's so important about this. Now to show you the stabilization that's built in, let me do a little bit of walking. So this is what you can expect from the stabilization. And let me show you running now. I won't go too far because I'll get out of breath. Now, some of you may be saying you're not happy about wearing a microphone like this. So what you can do, you can take this off and mount it to the side of the camera because you've got a cold shoe mount on the side. So that's really good. And to show you some more of the quality from this camera, I'll run a few more clips right now. And if you're enjoying this content, consider subscribing. So what did you think to the quality? Was it any good? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you own an Osmo Action, how are you getting on with it? Let me know that also. But now let's have a look at the list we made a couple of months ago and see how many boxes we have ticked. So 4K video, well that definitely gets a tick. Stabilization, as you've seen, is pretty incredible. I'm gonna give that two ticks. Lightweight and it's compact. Both of them are gonna get double ticked. Robust, well, I've not broken it yet, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna give that a tick also. Now, the next thing on our list was water resistant. Now, in its current setup, I would say it's shower proof. But if we remove the microphone, put it in our bag, and attach the side door onto the Osmo Action, we've got a 100% water action camera with a built-in microphone, so that gets double ticked. Okay then, the microphone, well, the Rode Wireless Go is just an incredible bit of kit. We've put 150 pound of our budget into the microphone but it is insanely good. So I'm gonna give that two ticks. Now you may think to yourself that you might save a bit of money and buy like a mini shotgun microphone. Don't bother. I tried out three different mini shotgun microphones. All were self-powering, so there's no battery and none of them had enough juice to power the audio. So don't bother buying a mini shotgun microphone for this, it isn't gonna work. Go with the wireless Go and you won't regret it. And the good thing about the wireless Go mic is, you can have your camera set up here. But standing all the way back here, and you can still hear me clear as anything. Okay, next on our list is a tripod, and we've gone with the Gorilla Pod Action, so that gets a tick. Battery life is an hour and a half per batteries, and with the Osmo Action, if you buy the combo kit, you get free batteries. So you're looking at four and a half hours of recording, so I'm gonna give that a tick also. Next is the low light performance, and as you've seen, we've had to attach your Lensy's cube light to the side of it. Let me show you how that performs. So this is the type of performance you can expect from the Osmo Action in low light. Uh, with the Ulanzi cube light on at the side. Uh, perfect maybe if you're camping out or if you're a ghost hunter. Let me show you it now without the light on. And this is it without the light on. So you can see just what a difference that light makes. But this camera does struggle without that cube light. In fact, it's really poor and probably its only weakness. Low level performance on this camera is not very good. But then again, a lot of cameras will struggle in low light. So I'm not gonna give that a mark. We're gonna leave that blank. That's the downside to this setup. Next on the list is how easy is it to use? Well, it is so simple. You have one power button and one button to start recording and the same button to stop recording. So that's gonna get two ticks. And the final thing on our list is value. 
Uh, it retails for just over £500 with the combo pack with the Osmo Action. Now, if you look at all the ticks that we have on our list, I think that represents pretty good value for money. You won't find a better setup that ticks this many boxes for that price. So value, I'm also gonna give that a tick. So there you have it. I believe this is the best travel vlogging camera you can buy for the money. Uh, let me know if you think I missed anything in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you wanna see further videos from myself, hit the subscribe button. But for now, that's it. We'll catch up in the next video. See you soon, guys.